Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. Ray, before they drop the puck, a lot of chatter on the bench. What are you seeing and what are you hearing? I'm hearing two teams that are ready to go. They're excited to start. But I'm really curious to see who will get the upper hand in pace, who will carry the way the game is played. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Fuel have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Takes the shot. The Cyclones have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. And they continue to apply pressure here. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Comes up with a monster save in front. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Goes right to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Indy's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. From the point, looks to make something happen. Cincinnati's gained possession along the boards. Puts one on net. Denied by the glove, but the puck hops along. Cincinnati's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice poke check. Cameron's lugging the puck. Across the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Slides the puck over. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Takes the feed. Here he is from the slot. And that banks off a stick. Picked up along the wall by Thomas. Scores! Oh, what a shot of the one-timer to put it home! Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Now it has to be relentless. Just because you're up by one doesn't mean you sit back. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Cincinnati's got him along the wall. Denies him with the save. Dishes it to Malone. Makes the move in front and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Here's a chance in front. Turns it away. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puts it in deep. The Cyclones will play the puck from behind the net. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Auburn. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Indy's got it in their own zone. Looking to set up offensively. The Cyclones take possession in the defensive end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Auburn. Quick shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Up along the wing. The hard sounds of the first period comes to an end. Indies off to a good start. They dictated the pace of play, and it's a good reason they lead 1-0. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. just 
moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Couldn't complete the pass. Cameron's got the puck in his own zone. Refs arms in the air, we got a penalty coming up. Takes a shot, comes up with a stop. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. The Cyclones are off to the box. Interference the call. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lump it. Indy's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's their first. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. Off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot. Scores! You think that there's a one set way to score on the power play? You find out in a hurry. It doesn't really matter where the puck goes. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. extended their lead now to two here in the second if you can get into the intermission up two, you feel so good about yourself they'll have to guard against giving one back now takes a shot no room for that one to get through he almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck thomas picking up steam great poke check on the reach quick pass across to craigs Moves the puck. McKay's got it in the offensive zone. Cincinnati's got control of it now from their own end. The Fuel have taken possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Handles the puck. Cincinnati's got it in the offensive zone. Move to the middle. A chance right in front. From the place 99 made famous. And we'll get a face-off after that save as the puck sails out of bounds. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Indy's got a 2-0 lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw. Score! his puck the goalie almost gets there but the pass is on his tape in the low slot and he beats him clean the cyclones are back to center ice and they have narrowed that gap cut the lead in half the comeback's on now they must push forward see if they can get the equalizer puck picked up by schultz here he is in front too much congestion blocks the shot. Indy's got a hold of the puck. The Fuel have possession along the boards. Moves the puck across to Le Carrier. Indy's looking to break out. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Rister. Oh, denies him with the paddle save.
Whoa, James, I'll tell you. I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Cyclones have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Cyclones will play it in their own end. Taken by McLeod. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. The Cyclones will go to work here in the offensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes that pass back at the point. Chase right in front. Fantastic save. And sends it just out of reach. Taken along the wall by Schultz. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Takes a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the... Hits in! He scores! The only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's working around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Indies doubled it up here in the second period. Like the way that they played this last little bit of hockey, they pushed the pace again. Now they're within a few minutes of having a good intermission. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And now he angles it across to Lee. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Shoot! Here's a chance! He scores! A buzzer beater! Do it. Shuts him down. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Forty minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Cyclones continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. Puts it on net. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Here's a shot, wide of the net. Picked up along the boards by Boca. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a shot, good look, not a good result though. Now they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. Takes a shot, gets a piece of it to keep it out. And the puck's kicked free. Gates Jr.'s taking it from his own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot. Denies him with a pad. Focus moving the puck through his own zone. And now he moves it to Mitchell. 
Here he is, shot right in front of him. Oh, stop that one. Thomas takes it across the line. Indy's up front in this game, in large part by the way their second line is playing. The coach is going with a gut feel and the way it looks by getting them on the ice more than anybody else. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Oh, I wanted another look at this one, James. I thought in live time the goalie didn't touch it, but that's just a piece of the puck turned away. Great stop. More than half the period has expired. Indy's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Mitchell's won it off the faceoff. Receives the pass. McKay's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Craig's gains the zone. Chief line, chief line. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Hits like that are becoming more and more rare as the game gets faster and faster. But that is a big hit. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And now it's grabbed by Hunter. Carries the puck up through center. The Cyclones have it now. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the feed. Oh, this is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet, and this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. Here's a chance. Oh, tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. Steps inside. Here's a shot. Big time stop Big there. Up, Puck grab by Hunter. Moves it over to McLeod. The Cyclones carry it along the wall. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. From the slot, reshot. Scores! Really good effort here to continue to push them off. Try and find a way to crack the defense. They've done it. And this game is tied. Absolutely clutch! I can't imagine they thought this was even possible. They played so poorly early in the game. They've worked their way all the way back to tie the score. The Cyclones have come up with a huge third period goal here late to set up for a dramatic finale. They push hard for this high goal, and now that they have it, don't take your foot off the gas. Try and get the winner before you get anywhere near overtime. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. In a tie game, you don't get many chances. That was a chance to break it right there. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Mitchell's getting called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Power play unit going back to work. Indy's got it in the offensive zone. Blocked aside. The Cyclones have it now. And they send it down the ice. Goaltenders out to play the puck. Grabbed along the board by Lee. Indy's got it across the line. Takes the pass. Big time stop. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Scooped up along the wall by Lee. There's the horn, regulation time has expired, and we are off to overtime. We'll take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Overtime is coming your way next.
will be the hero. Will there be a zero? Overtime set to go. Indy's man advantage is still intact as this period gets underway, and they win the draw with the stop. And they get that puck down the ice. Indy's got it from behind the net. Sends the cross ice pass. Takes a shot with the stop. From behind the net. Oh, they do it again. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Indy's power play fails to capitalize an OT. Well, they escape there. That's a bad spot to put your team shorthanded in overtime. But the PK does the job. Puck scooped up by Mitchell. Sends the pass over. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Moves inside! Game on a stick! Get it out of there! Cameron's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot! Turns it aside! Good hit. The Cyclones take it across the blue line. A chance to win it! And that goes off a player in front. And now it's to Cameron. Cincinnati's got the puck along the wall. Indies gained possession. They go on the attack through center. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a stop! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. That's a pretty good save, James. Just a piece, and I guess enough to keep it out of the net. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Gates Jr.'s won the draw. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in overtime. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot! Oh, what a stick save! Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Indy's got the puck against the boards. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Puck picked up by Gates Jr. Nice pass. Indy's across the blue line. And now he tries to get it across. Scores! Good! Indies playmakers, the difference here as they come away with the overtime victory. Even see their coach's fist pump behind the bench. The overtime win always is a little sweeter.